Hey everyone, in this video, we are going to learn how we can protect our GraphQL APIs using Unkey. If you've not heard of Unkey before, it's this amazing tool created by these two cool individuals. And in this video, we're gonna learn how we can use it with GraphQL Yoga. Here we have a schema and a Yoga instance, and all this project has is GraphQL, GraphQL Yoga, and TypeScript. We have a simple script to start our development server, and this is all we need to get started. If you've used GraphQL Yoga before, then this will be very familiar. You'll need an account with Unkey, so make sure you go to unkey.dev, create an account and log in, and then we'll create our first API. We'll give this a name, and once that's created, we'll go ahead and create our first API key. You can give this all sorts of information to identify the key, but we'll just give this a name for now. Once this key is created, it's this API key that we'll be using with our API later. Now let's install the Unkey API dependency using npm. Once this is installed, we need to create a new function that we'll call use Unkey. This will be a plugin for GraphQL Yoga. And we'll need to import the type plugin so we've got the help of TypeScript when writing this function. Let's hook into on request pass and we'll destructure request from the arguments. From that request, we can fetch the headers and we can get the X unkey API key header that we pass with requests. We'll now throw a GraphQL error if that token is not passed with requests. We can provide a custom message here to create GraphQL error and we'll need to import that from the GraphQL Yoga package. Now all that's left to do is invoke that plugin inside of the plugins array that we passed to GraphQL Yoga. You can also configure and pass your own options to this function, but in this example, we don't need it. Now let's begin our server using npm run dev, and then we'll open the graphical on port 4000 slash GraphQL. We can see here that we have an error fetching schema, and this is good. This is telling us that our plugin is now working. If we make a GraphQL request and fetch the hello field, we can see here that no API key is provided. But if we pass along the header x unkey API key and pass a random value for now, we should be allowed through. So we can check API keys or actual API keys provided by unkey. We'll need to import verify key from the dependency we just installed. Then inside of our plugin, we'll need to await verify key passing in that token. And then from that, we can destructure result and error. If there is an error though, we'll need to throw a new GraphQL error. So when we make a request to our GraphQL API, we get that error returned to us. Finally, if the result from unkey is not valid, we'll also throw another error. If nothing is thrown inside on request pass, then the API request will continue as it were. Now with our server still running, if we go back to graphical and make that request again, we can now see that the API key is not valid. That's because we passed hello world. If we go back to unkey and we copy this API key and provide this inside of the headers, we'll now see the result of that query. We can also see in the dashboard for Unkey, the amount of keys that we have and how many successful verifications we have. Unkey has many other things available to offer such as analytics, rate limiting, and so much more.